To make the bonnet, we need a ball of this yarn. The recommended needle is 4 mm, a 3.5 circular needles, stitch marker, needle, scissors, and two double pointed 3.5 mm needle. But if you want, you can make the cable instead of with the double pointed needles with the circular needles. You can use straight needles, but when you have to make the cord, you will have to use a crochet hook. We start from the center and we have to cast on 8 stitches. We have to cast on 8 stitches. We have two edge stitches and six stitches in the middle. Row number one, we have to knit the edge stitch. And on the next six stitches we have to knit the front loop. We don't have to remove the stitch from the left hook and we have to knit also the back loop. We have to knit twice the same stitch. Once we knit twice the stitch, we can remove the stitch from the left needle and repeat the same on the next, on the next stitch. Knit the front loop and knit also the back loop. Once we have 6 increases, we have to knit the last stitch. We finished the row number 1. Row number 2. We have to take the edge stitch. And we have to repeat 6 times yarn over knit one, yarn over, and purl one. We have one repetition, we have to repeat again five more times, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and purl one. Once we made the six repetitions, we have to knit the last stitch. On the row number 3, we have to work the stockinet stitch. When we find a knit stitch, we have to knit. We have to purl the yarn overs. When we find a purl stitch, we have to purl this stitch. And again, when we find a yarn over, we have to purl the yarn over. And we have to repeat the same, knit one and purl three. We have to repeat the same six times to the end of the row. And we have to knit the last stitch. Row number 4. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat 6 times, knit 1, yarn over, knit 1, yarn over, knit 1, and purl 1. We have one repetition, we have to repeat again, knit 1, yarn over, knit 1, yarn over, knit one, and purl one. We have to repeat the same to the end of the row.
and we have to knit the last stitch. Row number 5. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat 6 times, knit 1 and purl 5. Repeat again, knit 1 and purl 5. We have to purl also the yarn overs. And repeat the same to the end of the row. Row number 6. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat 6 times, knit 2. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, and purl one. We have one repetition, repeat again. Knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, and purl 1. Repeat the same to the end of the row. Row number 7. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat 6 times, knit 1 and purl 7. We have one repetition, repeat again, knit one and purl seven. Repeat the same to the end of the row. Row number eight. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat six times. Yarn over, knit seven, and purl one. We have one repetition. Repeat again. Yarn over, knit seven. And purl one. Row number nine. Take the edge stitch and repeat six times. Knit one. Purl seven. And knit the yarn over taking the back loop. Repeat again. Knit one, purl seven, and knit the yarn over taking the back loop. Row number 10. We have to repeat six times. Purl one, yarn over, one simple decrease. We have to pass one stitch, knit the next stitch and pass the first stitch over the knit, the knit stitch to have one decrease. Knit three, knit two together, making again one decrease, yarn over, and purl one. Knit 
we have to repeat again. Purl 1, yarn over, one simple decrease, remember pass one stitch, knit one, and pass the first stitch over the second stitch, knit three, knit two together, making again one decrease, yarn over and purl one. We have to repeat the same to the end of the row. Row number 11. We have to take the edge stitch and repeat six times. Knit one. Knit the yarn over taking the back loop. Purl five. Knit the yarn over taking the back loop. And knit one. Row number 12. We have to take the edge stitch, purl 2, yarn over, 1 simple decrease, knit 1, knit 2 together, yarn over and purl 2. Repeat one more time. Purl 2, yarn over, one simple decrease, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, and purl two. Row 13. Take the edge stitch knit two, knit the yarn over taking the back loop, purl three, knit the yarn over taking the back loop, and knit two. And we have to repeat the same to the end of the row. Knit two, knit the yarn over taking the back loop, purl three, knit the yarn over taking the back loop, and knit two. Repeat to the end of the row. Row 14. We have to take the edge stitch, and repeat six times, yarn over, purl one, yarn over, purl two, yarn over, and here we have to make a treble decrease. We have to pass one stitch, knit the two following stitches together, and pass the first stitch over the knit two together. We made one treble decrease. Yarn over after the treble decrease and purl three. Repeat the same, yarn over, purl one, yarn over, purl two, yarn over, 
one treble decrease yarn over and purl three. Row number 15, we have to take the edge stitch and knit all the stitches. We have to work a knit a stitch in all the stitches and when we find a yarn over we have to knit taking the back loop. From the row 16 to the row 18 we have to work the stacking at the stitch. On the row 16 we have to work the purl stitch, row 17 knit a stitch and row 18 purl a stitch. Here you can see the shape of the leaves. Now what we have to make now is we have to bind off some stitches at the beginning and at the end of the row and continue working the part of the middle. Row 19 we have to bind off now 10 stitches we have to bind off 10 stitches remember how to bind off we have to knit one knit the following stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Continue knitting to 10 stitches before the end, work the knit stitch to 10 stitches before the end, And once we have 10 stitches, we have to knit one, knit one again, and bind off the last 10 stitches. We have to bind off the last 10 stitches. And we only have the part of the middle of the bonnet. Now we have to start from the side of the last stitches. We have to continue working the stacking at the stitch. So we have to start working a row with pearl stitches. We have to take the yarn, place the yarn, knit the first stitch because we are adding a new piece of yarn and work the purl stitch to the end. And we have to work 7 cm working the stacking at the stitch. Remember, one row with purl stitch and the next row with knit stitch. Here you can see the stacking at the stitch. We will use the back part of the stacking at the stitch on the right side. Now we have to bind off the part of the middle of the hat and leave two stitches on each side to make the cord. So take the edge stitch, knit one. Those two stitches will be the cord and now we have to bind off all the stitches of the hat 
leaving the two last stitches. We have to bind off all the stitches to two stitches before the end. Only two stitches on each side to make the cord. You can use straight needles to this point. Now, if you don't have double pointed needles or circular needles, you, you will have to make the cord using a crochet hook making a chain. In this case, I'm using double pointed needles to make the cord. I will leave in a stitch marker the two first, first stitches. If you don't have double pointed needles, you can continue using the circular needles. How we make the cord? We have to knit two. And we don't have to turn the needles. We have to take the yarn to the to the other point of the needle and knit two. And we have to repeat the same. We don't have to turn the needles, we have to pass from one point to the other point and knit the two stitches. This is what we have to do to make the cord. When you have like 10 centimeters, you can bind off one stitch and fasten off the yarn. We finished one cord and we only have to take again the two stitches that we have on the stitch marker and make again one cord, making 10 centimeters. Once we finished the two cords, we only have to sew the back part of the bonnet. We have to take a needle and sew both sides together. Once we arrive at the center of the bonnet, we have to pass the needle through all the stitches pull the yarn, pass the yarn through the through the other side and make a knot to fasten off. Yeah. 
and we finished the bonnet. This is the back part. And this is the front part.